In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Feeling Bad Blues by Ry Cooder off the Crossroads soundtrack. So, in the 1986 film Crossroads, Eugene Martone, played by the Karate Kid, sitting in a hotel room, gets his telecaster out, the slide, uh, plugs into his pig nose amp, and plays the blues. Um, the version I'm going to look at is the one off the soundtrack, um, which is similar but there are some differences. Let's dive in. So, the song in the film and on the soundtrack is played by Ry Cooder. Uh, I'm in open D tuning, so six strings D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Um, I've got a cleanish sound with a little bit of dirt, um, and I'm using a harmonic tremolo. I'm using a Harmonious Monk by uh, Jam Pedals, I'm using the harmonic tremolo on that. It's a, it's a reasonably fast speed, actually, um, but I'll take a photo of the settings and include that in the video as well. <laughs> We're in the key of D, the first chord's D, uh, up at the 12th fret. So he slides in from the 10th fret up to that 12th fret, and, and it, I think the focus is on the middle two strings, um, but the other strings ring because of the slide. Then he catches the second string, and it adds vibrato. kind of really drags this out. Slide up to the 12th fret which he really drags out and then he goes on to the 3rd string. Adds those notes in. The next phrase is still around the 12th fret. And then slide back up. Tenth fret, I think it sounds like he's kind of using his thumb to stroke the strings, the some vibrato, and then he slides down. So So I'll play the whole of the first line. the G chord around the fifth fret. He just focuses on strings two, three, and four, starts on the third string. Then does the same thing again, but with a slightly different rhythm, so with a triplet rhythm. And then a slide down. The next part he hammers on to the second fret on string two. And then he's going to hit that open D. So. so those two bars. And 
Then we've got a little riff on the lower strings. It starts with the slide on the fourth fret, then the open, and then the second fret fretted, and then open. slide from the third fret so the next part is similar to what we had previously but the rhythm is a little bit different and then the hammer on is done twice and I'd, I'd hammer on pull off and then hammer on again so goes to that open second string. It's a little bit tricky to do that. You've got to remember when you do these hammer-ons and pull-offs, you kind of have to swoop into the note. You can't just bang the slide, you know, right on the fret like you would do, or right behind the fret like you would do um, for, you know, conventional guitar playing. You've got to kind of swoop in. Um, so those two bars from the slide from the third fret, you got... starts with a slide up to the fourth fret and then down to the second and uh, pull off so and then he's going to play the open fifth string the a and the second fret on the first string together and up to the fourth again ringing so I think he's fretting those so hammer on on the second string open this note continues ringing then we're going to go to a D the open fifth string so D with an A in the bass and back to a G from where we go to the five chord you got together. So. And then he does a little slide down from the third to the second fret. His finger and then open and then second fret on the fourth string. So. to the big 
beginning of the next chorus, um, which is very similar. The structure's the same, the, the chord sequence, the ideas, there's slight variations. Um, what I'd suggest you do is get this first chorus down really well and then listen to the rest and try and pick up on those variations and, th and then do your own version of it, essentially. I'll play from the five chords, so. <laughs> is certainly not using a Telecaster, I wouldn't say, nor a pig nose amp. Uh, it sounds like one of his strats, uh, one of the Cuda casters, I, I don't know which one it, exactly, um, and a kind of Fendery amp with a, a room reverb added, um, and certainly uh, a tremolo. In my case I'm using a harmonic tremolo, I'm using the Harmonious Monk from Jam Pedals. I'll take a photo of the settings in case that's helpful, and I, I'm using a bit of grit from a Love Pedal Tula pedal as well, just to add a little bit more to it, um, and I'm plugged into my Two Rock Studio signature. Uh, but, you know, a good Fender clean valve amp would, would do the job nicely as well. <laughs> 